Hello, Junior High. Today is Weary Wednesday, April 24th. Welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Alex. Grayson here. We're so excited to be here on today's video announcements. Now let's please stand and honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. Now over to our clubs and activities announcements. Good afternoon, Sycamore. Mrs. Jarvis here. Avery International Club will meet Thursday after school this week. Arrange a ride home at 420. If you cannot make it, email over since I. Again, the International Club will meet Thursday after school. See you there. All right. Hey, did you hear that our high school first tech challenge, Juniper Robotics team, finished their season ranked fourth in the world uh, following the World's Championship in Houston last week? Did you or your siblings also know that Sigmar Robotics offers four levels of first programs that build skills to achieve this incredible accomplishment? Start, start with first Lego League Explore. For rising second through fourth graders and first Lego League challenge due for rising fourth through eighth graders. Tell your younger brothers and sisters here at the junior high and high school we have first tech charge teams for seventh through twelfth graders and first robotics challenge for ninth through twelfth graders. If you're interested in any type of this STEAM engineering, communications, building things, running a business around marketing a team robot, competing with others to make a robot complete tasks for tournament success, make sure to attend the informational robotics session and a team robot demo at the Green Intermediate School cafeteria next Wednesday, May 1st from 6 to 7 p.m. Again, that is May 1st at the Green School uh, cafeteria from 6 to 7 p.m. Also, watch for Sycamore's first robotics team online applications opening this Friday, April 26. Visit uh, the robotics website at sycamorerobotics.weebly.com or stop the room 1111 and my Mrs. Travis at the junior high. At the junior high. Now over right. to Mr. Stern with our athletes of the week. Good afternoon, Sycamore. I am here with Kate Trentel. We are back, did I pronounce that correctly? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, we are back with our Athletes of the Week. Uh, as many of you are aware, um, spring ends up being our smallest month uh, in regards to how many sports uh, we offer in the spring. So it takes us a few weeks before we get started on our Athletes of the Week. And we are going to start with girls lacrosse. And Kate, you guys are having an amazing season. Yeah. So for those of you who don't know, the girls A lacrosse team is currently undefeated and they probably have their most challenging match tonight against Indian Hill. Um, I, I've heard that um, the play against Indian Hill over the years has typically fallen in their favor. Yeah. So uh, we are hoping for a big upset tonight. If that can occur, then um, there's a really good chance of you guys going undefeated because their other games have not been close. They've been uh, pretty dominant throughout the season. So, Kate, um, this is from your coaches, and it reads, The Athlete of the Week is Kate Trentel. A seventh grader on the girls' lacrosse team, she has been a stalwart player this year for both the green and gold teams. Partly due to injury, but mostly due to her outstanding play, she has been asked to step up and fill positions. She quietly goes about her business, but when it's game time, she becomes a tenacious competitor. She has shown an ability to play great defense, but also values the ball on offense. Never asking for attention, she has great attitude in games and at practices and simply performs on the field. She is a wonderful teammate and a great person. That's really nice. Yeah. Um, your coaches really brought out some fantastic things. Uh, what they're saying it here really goes beyond the playing field. And, um, I think that's outstanding. So Kate, this is your write-up and your certificate. And of course, you get free Chick-fil-A from us. So congratulations to Kate and good luck to the girls as they go for an undefeated season tonight against Indian Hill.
And unfortunately, our athlete of the week um, for the boys lacrosse team could not be here today. Um, so we're going to make this a surprise for him uh, when he is watching video announcements because we're not going to deliver his certificate or anything. We're just going to let him hear it uh, uh, right as everybody else is hearing it. And Kate is with us. Kate is going to be presenting this week's boys lacrosse athlete of the week. And who is it? Corbin Ross. It is Corbin Ross. And what did um, their coaches say about Corbin? Corbin Ross is a captain and a phenomenal leader for the boys lacrosse team. He is a leading scorer and has a face-off win percentage above 85%, which has been accomplished, which hasn't been accomplished, more than just a couple times in Sycamore lacrosse history. Corbin has also proven to be a leader off the field. He is respected by his peers, dedicates himself to his studies, and one of our very few three sport participants. Congratulations, Corbin. Yeah, Corbin's having a great lacrosse season, and the boys had a big win uh, this past weekend against Loveland, and they've got a couple of home games this week as well. So uh, if you haven't had a chance to come see the boys or the girls lacrosse team, um, you are running out of dates, um, but definitely come down to the stadium and, and see them. So um, you did a great job. So thank you, Kate, and thank you, students, and those are our Athletes of the Week. Last chance! This week is the final week to purchase your 2024 Sycamore Junior High School yearbook. Time is quickly running out to order your 2024 Sycamore Junior High yearbook. The deadline for ordering is this Friday, April 26, 2024. A very limited amount of extras will be available for purchase, and they sell out fast. The only way to guarantee your copy of the yearbook is to pre-order today. The cost is $35. Copy and go here to order your 2024 yearbook. That's this. Every year, Sycamore Junior High School students are invited to enter the Mikey Durera Poetry Contest. This contest honors the memory of a former teacher, Mikey Durera, who passed away from cancer many years ago. Poems entered into the contest should honor her positive spirit. The theme should be uplifting and inspiring. For more information about the contest, please join the Mikey Drew Up Google Classroom. The code is GSGMLZU. Deadline for the contest is this Friday, April 26th. Be informed. Check your emails every day. Be responsible young adults and make this a great place to be. National, National day. day! Today is National Bucket List Day. April 24th celebrates National Bucket List Day to remind us it's never too late to set new goals, go on a dream vacation, and inspire new people around you to enjoy life to the fullest. By definition, a bucket list is a list of things a person would like to do but has never experienced before. Some people refer to them as milestones, while other people refer to them as goals. Next up, birthdays. birthdays. Happy birthday to all those celebrating today, including Jonah VC, Camden K, and Caden L. Now for a joke of the day. Does money grow on trees? Uh, uh, uh. Then why do banks have branches? <laughs> Help me! Be the best extraordinary person that you can be, Sycamore. Follow your PBIS expectations every day. Have a great day, Sycamore, and go, go A's! A's.